Will from that to tap and say you can do a full review of Google Chrome. Now, to be honest with you, this may not be a Google Chrome application in their sort of specific area, but to be honest with you, I'm going to call this my Google Chrome, you know, due to the reason that it is actually performs fantastically well. Um, it's actually beating Safari, and to be honest with you, I've actually used this more than Safari. Um, so, however, let's just get into the actual application itself. You can see the um, interface is looking absolutely phenomenal. Um, you can see it's very simple to use. You have your sign in up here, so you can you know, sign into Google's sort of um, Google Plus, and then here you got your sort of different settings, to, you know, different presets and what have you. Here you got your history, so you can check on what you've done and what you've seen in the past. And applications is very cool indeed. You get the full list of what they have in to offer on their side. So you have like uh, Gmail, Calendar, Docs, News, Google Plus, Reader, Photos, Maps, YouTube, Translate, Finance, and Earth. Now do bear in mind that if you do click on one of these icons, it will open up in one of their um, tabs. And of course, you can't go to Google with that one. But it will go into the actual um, App Store. Or sometimes it will go into the actual official YouTube, um, um, you know, interface like it, like you see here. So it's very nice indeed. It's very fluent and it's very easy to use. Um, and trying to do the search is absolutely phenomenal. Now get out of that. You can uh, have a little. You can uh, have a little bit more options. For instance, you have your voice search. So if you don't want to type onto the actual search bar, uh, then you can just use your um, voice. So basically, I'm just going to say. YouTube and you can see there it's actually recognized what I said and now it's come up with the search result of YouTube so it's very nice indeed it's very fast and very fluent so as you can see there it's going to go to YouTube itself uh, and, then, and there you go it's on the ball it's all fast and it's always um, you know in my opinion uh, more faster than Safari in my, in my opinion but as you can see on here you have a tab now I've not really found any other ways you can get new tabs but however less this is better than nothing I would assume here you can uh, share it with your friends or um, via email or you can open it in Safari um, and here you can also Google Plus it so you, you can uh, let people uh, people know the website and here you have the uh, sort of um, search option so basically if you want to go and search a word or a phrase that's on YouTube but you can't find it for instance uh, new Let's just type that in, and there you go. It's just um, highlighted the uh, phrases that are there. That you know says new or whatever. So it's very good. It's actually um, you know reminiscent uh, reminiscence of the actual Google Chrome itself. So it's very good. Now the other cool thing as well is if you swipe to your right, if I can do it properly, you can um, close the application just like on the uh, Google Chrome, or you can just tap out of it like so. Now that is very fantastic indeed. And of course, you still have more options here as you can see. So there are sort of a plethora of choices you can choose from and it is a very handy application as I said um, it's very reminiscent, uh, reminiscent of Google Chrome. Here you have your settings so you can have your safe search, uh, moderate, the web, uh, time, any time, results or results so you can just um, you know, preset to one what you want to be. So it's very um, you know, basically in your hands so you have all the control instead of they having control so very nice indeed. And here you have the option to have it like this, or you can have the option to go and make it like so. So you can see the images before you go and search or go on to the website itself. So say I want to go on this one here, for instance, I don't know what it looks like, I want to know before I go in it. You can see it like this, just like normal on the web uh, website, um, normal Google Chrome, sorry. You tap on it, and then after that, it will open up the web page like so. So to honest you guys, that is it of the full review of Google Chrome. Um, and to honest you, it is a fantastic application, well worth the pick up from the App Store, and it is actually free, as it normally is in Google's uh, language. Um, I'm not really too sure if it's ready for the iPhone, for instance. It's, in my opinion, a little bit too small. I prefer the um, iPad version. Um, however, less this is actually um, overridden Safari. So now this is my top application. If you enjoyed this guys, please subscribe to get more of my videos or reviews of applications. Uh, please thumbs up and comment and share with other people. Thank you so much guys, I'll see you soon.